Hey everybody, welcome back to Royal Tarot Readings. This is my fun channel that I do for tarot readings on the royal family. All information presented in this video is for fun and entertainment purposes only. It's fun, it's tarot. I'm just a gal with cards. All right, so today I would like to take a look at the um, health and status of Catherine, Princess of Wales. I am not asking about any personal health information. It's just a, a little reading to see how she's doing. So please, um, if you are in the comments and you want to scold me on prying into her health status, I am not doing that. I am just asking about how she's doing. I think we all can do that about our the future queen of England. All right, so um, let's take a look. I'm going to use the Ancient Whispers Tarot deck today. I haven't used this one for a while, but it's always been very, very accurate, especially when reading on Catherine. So let's see what we have going on here today. hope everybody is doing well. And enjoying the weather. It's actually getting nice today. Although I think we might have some rain coming, but that's okay. As my dad always used to say, everything needs a little drink every now and then. All right, so let's take a look now at Catherine, Princess of Wales. All right, how is Catherine feeling today? How is Catherine, Princess of Wales, feeling today? Not in the past, right now. How's she feeling today, right now? And what is the status of Catherine and William's relationship? I know when you're ill, it can really, you know, be tough on your relationship, but uh, let's see. How are they doing? How is their relationship? How are they doing right now? Um, and will Catherine make a statement about her health in March? I've um, been seeing a few little items out there. Wait, here, I'll explain after I'm done shuffling. Um, uh, will Catherine make a statement about her health or her status in March? And how are the children feeling today? I know when you're a child and your your mother or your father is sick, uh, it tends to be a little bit, a little bit taxing on you know worry a lot. So how are the children feeling today? How are they feeling today? And what are Catherine's hopes and fears about her health coming up? What are her hopes and fears about her health? All right, and um, will Catherine return to royal duties? In any way, shape, or form, after Easter, that was the projection, when she would be um, available to return to royal duties. Is she going to return to royal duties in any way, shape, or form, even if it's just you know part time or whatever after Easter? All right. Do a couple more little shuffles here. Whoops. I think that one was like that. All right, I think we are going to go with this one. Go ahead and cut. All right, so we have six questions today. We're going to do six cards. Go, two, three, four, five, and six. Underline energy is, ooh, the Eight of Pentacles. She's working hard. This is hard work, and then the sun's right after it. Okay. All right, so Eight of Pentacles is about hard work. You're working hard to what, at whatever it is you're doing, usually to master a craft, but it can be just hard work. And then the sun in reverse is about keeping things out of the light, keeping things hidden. Um, sometimes it's about um, something not being successful, but we'll take a look and see what's going on. All right. Okay, so how is Catherine, Princess of Wales, feeling today? Four of Swords in reverse. Oh dear, I don't like that card. <laughs> she's very, she's exhausted. She's feeling very, um, she's feeling overwhelmed, exhausted, um, just really needing to recuperate. I know some tarot readers, um, and I know I'm one of them, will look at this card as a death card, but I don't think that's what we're, we're looking at right now. I think she's just, it's a hard recuperation for her, and she's working hard and, and trying to, um, she wants to keep, she definitely wants to keep um, out of the public. She wants to keep things quiet. She does want, she doesn't want any information put out about either what's going on with her, how hard she's working, um, or how tough this is on her. Um, I know a lot of times that I'm this way, when you, when something just kicks your butt and you're down for the count, you you feel like you're just a failure, you know, like, man, I'm stronger than this. And I think that's how she's feeling. 
like why is this taking so long why am I taking so long to recover but um you know surgery can be hard it, it sounds like she had a really hard surgery so she's just feeling very overwhelmed right now um and what is the status of uh, Catherine and William's relationship what's going on there how are they doing the moon in reverse everything is not as it appears um but it's going to be revealed uh what's going on with their relationship if people think that they're doing badly they're really not because I know there have been a lot of rumors out there, and I don't I don't think things are as bad as what people are saying. They're working hard, working hard at their relationship, trying to fix any issues that they've had. Maybe things that weren't successful before, they're trying to fix. And um, it is going to be revealed how they're feeling, what the status of their relationship is. I don't know why it's going to be revealed, but it will be revealed. But... Keeping things under the radar. They're just they're just keeping things quiet and to themselves. All right. Um, and will Catherine make a statement about her health in March? Is she going to make a statement about her health in March? Nine of Wands in reverse. Okay, so the Nine of Wands is about... Um, upright, it's about putting up barriers and... Um, you're battered and bruised, and but you're you're absolutely in it to in it to win it, as they used to say in American Idol. Um, and in reverse, it's about just being completely overwhelmed, and those barriers are coming down. I think that she knows people want to know how she's doing, and even though she hasn't been willing to talk about it. I think she is willing to put out a statement. I think she will. Even if it's a small little statement to say I'm doing okay. She's working hard at what she's doing. She's trying very hard to recover. Things have not been as fast as she'd like it to be. and um, But the barrier that she has put up will be coming down. She probably will make a, even if it's a little small statement. I don't think it'll be a big one. I think she will put out a statement. Yeah, it could also mean, I forgot, it could also mean like feeling um, targeted, like people are just picking at you and at you. And um, But she's working hard, and I think um, she understands why people want to know that she's okay. Because people care about her. I don't think it's so much that people are prying into her business. It's just they want to make sure that she's okay. Just some kind of reassuring, you know, reassuring comment, are you okay? And, and for her to say, I'm doing fine. Or it's taking longer than I thought, but I'm going to be okay. Even something like that, I think, is what people are looking for. I think she's realizing that. Um, how are the children feeling today? How are they doing? Oop. Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Interesting card. So they're they're feeling impatient and frustrated. They want their mom to be better. They're probably just like, Mom, why can't you go out with us? Why can't we do things? And I think they understand they're just getting frustrated and impatient for her to be better. And and that's understandable. Um, but they're working hard to help her. They're working hard to understand. And they know that this is something that they can't let people know that they're frustrated and worried. Um, so they're keeping it within the family. Even at their ages, they understand uh, what the sense of privacy is. So... Um, they're just they're just frustrated. They want their mom to be better because they know she's taken she's taken a long time to recuperate, which is you know as long as she needs. But when you're children, you just want your your mom to be better. So I think that's what's going on with them. I don't have a bad feeling about that at all. Um, and what are Catherine's hopes and fears about her health? What are her hopes and fears? Page of Wands in reverse. She's worried that people are going to have misconceptions about what she's going through and that she doesn't like that people are writing all these uh, stories about her and making guesses and accusations and things, you know, oh, she's had all these mental health issues and oh, it's this and oh, it's that. She's like, just, it's okay. I'm fine. 
she's worried that people are just writing too much about her. And that's, and I understand that. Um, and she's working hard to, I think she's working hard to get things corrected. She's going to put out something that's going to either say, or maybe some type of policy. She's working on some type of policy here where things, information about her is going to be very regulated. I don't know why I'm getting that feeling. Like she is hoping to get that in control. Things to do with uh, information about her, how stories get put out about her. I think she wants to tighten that up. She wants to make sure that when people do write things about her, or that they're going to be accountable for what they say. Oh, isn't that interesting? Because even though things are not as, if things are going to be revealed and they're not as they appear, she wants to, she wants to tighten this up, that how these stories get put out about her. They may, they may put something out with their normal, um, I know the Crown works with um, royal reporters and commentators. I think they're going to work hard with them to kind of make a policy on who's allowed to report on her and who's not. Oh, wow. I don't know why I'm getting that feeling there. How interesting. Okay, and will Catherine return to royal duties in any way, shape, or form after Easter? Three of Wands. Oh, oh, how interesting. I think she will, and I think it'll be very slow. I think maybe she'll just a few a few things at a time, but um, she's uh, she's just she's confident and moving forward and planning that this is what she's going to do. She feels like her hard work will pay off and that she will be returning in some way, shape or form after Easter. Cause she is working hard for that. That's her current plan. Um, and that obstacles may come up along the way, but she's going to do everything that she can to keep that goal. And people are watching her. They're making sure that she's doing what she's supposed to do. And the barriers that she's put up are slowly coming down. I think she's working hard to keep that goal. Right now, that is the goal for her to return after Easter. So it's just going to be, they're going to watch and see. You know how doctors just say, let's see what happens. Let's, let's monitor your progress every week and we'll see how you are after Easter. So... I guess the only card in this reading that's really um, has me a little concerned is this one here. So um, I think she feels worse than she is because my question was, how is she feeling today? And she feels like, oh, I'm just so exhausted. I'm overwhelmed. I feel like I'm just down for the count. You know, um, I don't think that indicates how her health is. I think that's just, just how she feels. I mean, let, let me do follow-up reading and just get a little bit more in depth. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't want to pry. So, all right, quick wrap up. Um, how is Catherine feeling today? She is feeling overwhelmed and exhausted, but she's working hard. She's working hard to do what they tell her to, if any obstacles come up or things she feels like doing, that's too much. She's working hard to, to keep herself under control. And then because she probably wants to do way more than she's able to right now. And what is the status of Catherine and William's relationship? I think that everything's not as it appears. And it is, um, people are worried that he's exhausted, she's doing terribly, that they're having a bad time. But that's not how it is. <clears throat> and they may make a little statement about that. Or it may come out through the royal reporters. Oh my goodness, right here. To say that th that they are doing okay. And that any obstacles that have come up in the past, things that have been bad for their relationship, they're working hard on. So I think they're doing okay, as well as they can with this uh, serious health issue that she's had. Um, and will Catherine make a statement about her health in March? I think she will. I think she will. The barriers are coming down. And she's uh, she knows that people are very worried and concerned about her. And really all they want is just some kind of statement I'm fine. This kicked my butt. I'm, you know, flat on my back, but I'm, I'm okay. I'm, I'm doing all right. I'm working hard and I'll be back as soon as I can. So I think, I think she will make some kind of a statement in March about that or her office will. Um, and how are the children feeling today? They're just frustrated. They want mom back. They want her back like she used to be. So, and they're working hard to understand 
and they're trying to help her with anything that comes up, but they're just frustrated. Um, and <clears throat> uh, what are Catherine's hopes and fears about her health? Um, it's not so much about her health. It's about her, about everyone talking about her health. So I think she's putting some policies and something in place. Maybe it's to give regular updates about her health instead of letting people guess and wonder. Um, and they're working, they're working on that plan right now. So, cause things haven't come out as they, as they had wanted it to. And I think they're trying to put something in place so that this kind of situation won't happen again. So maybe some regular updates are going to start coming out about her. And, um, is Catherine going to return to world duties after Easter? That is their current plan, but they're watching her to make sure, uh, they're working hard, keeping an eye on her every day, every week saying, don't do too much. We'll reassess you every week. And as we get towards Easter, then we'll, we'll see if you're going to be uh, returning to royal duties. So there we go. That's your reading. I hope that was interesting and you enjoyed that. If you did, please like and share. And if you're a subscriber, why thank you so much. If you're not, well, what the heck are you waiting for? You need to subscribe or you're going to miss all these updates about Catherine. So click the notification bell so you don't miss any readings. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm going to do another reading off camera here. Well, I may record it. I'm not sure if I'm going to post it just to see what else is going on with her health. So, um, and I have another reading that I've already recorded about Prince William. That's going to come out later today. Just have to process it, get it edited and upload it. These things take so long recording. It doesn't take long at all to process, edit and post it is what takes so long. So anyway, thank you so much for watching everybody. We'll see you soon on the next Royal Tarot reading. Have a good day. Bye.